Hello everybody. Today we're going to install WX widgets on Microsoft Visual Studio 2017. So the first thing we'll need to do is go to the WX widgets website and download the source code. So www.wxwidgets.org. So we'll go to the download page. And download the source code. All right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and drop that source code on our desktop and extract it. And we can delete this, we don't need it anymore. To build the WX widgets uh, library, we can just go into the build folder and the MSW folder, scroll to the bottom. You'll see here we have some Microsoft Visual Studio projects. So go ahead and open up Microsoft Visual Studio. And you see we have four targets here that we can build. We have two DLL targets and two static targets. We'll start by building the static debug version of the library. Next, we'll compile the DLL debug version of the library. And now we'll build the DLL release version of the library. And finally, we'll build the static release version of the library. All right, now that that's done compiling, let's go over to the WX widget source code directory and take a look at the directory structure. So here we have the include directory. And inside the include directory, we have the WX directory. And the WX directory contains the .h files for WX widgets. And inside the lib directory, we have the DLL directory and the static directory. So this is where the static library is and this is where the DLLs are. Inside here we have the MSWU directory and that contains a file called setup.h which the compiler does need so we're going to have to add the MSWU directory to our list of include directories. Okay let's go ahead and start our uh, Microsoft Visual Studio project. We'll go to File, New, Project. I uh, will do a C++ empty project. And we'll put that on the desktop. So let's just add a main.cpp file to this project. And we'll go back to the WX Widgets website to grab some example code. Let's go to the Hello World in WX Widgets page. And we'll just copy this code here. All right, now we'll go to Project, Properties, and we want to make sure we're on all configurations. C++, 
Additional include directories. We'll add a new entry. And then we'll navigate to the WX widgets source code folder. And we'll just click on the include directory here. Then we're going to go to the C preprocessor, preprocessor definitions. And we're going to add WX using DLL. And finally, we're going to go to the linker tab, additional library directories, add a new entry. And inside the source code folder, we'll go to the lib directory and the DLL directory. And apply those changes. Now we're going to switch to release mode. And we'll go back to the C++ additional include directories. Add a new entry. This time we'll go to the lib folder, the DLL folder, the MSWU folder, and click select. Now we'll go to the linker tab. Input, additional dependencies. Typically when you link against a WX widgets project, you're going to link against the base library and the core library. So we'll add base and core to our list of additional dependencies. So here we have the base library. So we'll just copy this name and paste that in. And here we have the core library. And we'll just copy that and paste it in as well. Now we'll copy both of these, apply the changes, and switch to debug mode. And we'll go back into the additional dependencies and paste those in. But since this is debug mode, we have to add a D after the U, so it should be 31 U D. And go back to C++ additional include directories. Add a new entry. We'll go to the lib folder, DLL. And this time we're going to go to MSWUD and select that. Apply the changes. And now we're going to build both the debug and release version of our project. All we have to do now is copy the DLLs into our folders. So we'll go to WX widgets example. And we have our debug and release folders. So we got to copy the debug and release DLLs. So here is the release version of the base library. Now we just need the core.
and here's the core. So we'll copy these and paste them into the release folder. And now we need the debug version of the DLLs. So remember the debug version of the base library has a D after the U. And now we need the core version of the debug library. Okay, so we'll copy that and paste that into the debug folder. Now we should be able to run them. So we'll just click run. There you go, and we'll do the same thing for the debug version of the project. And there you go. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.